Hey everyone. So I'm getting ready now. I'm going to start some sugar baby bush watermelon and it will be done outside in a cracky tote. This is the seeds and it's supposed to be a three and a half foot vine. It's a dwarf type variety. There's the seeds. I'm actually going to put it in rock wool and this is I'm going to start it and then it will go into a 27 gallon tote. So this is tap water, right out of the tap. I didn't do anything with it. I'm going to soak the Rockwell cube. Give that just a second. It doesn't take very long. Make sure it soaks everything in. Here, I'll make a mess on the counter. but Okay, so I put two extra holes in there. I just used a pen. Um, just took a pen like this, pushed some holes in there, and now I'm going to drop my seeds in. One on each side, down in the hole. Push them down in a little bit with the pen. Get them in there. And then what I'm going to do is take my three inch net cup. And get my clay pebbles. So what I like to do, because um, these Rockwell cubes are, I believe, one and a half by one and a half, I like to put one layer of cubes in the bottom. And then I'll actually fill the tap water. I'll fill this up to where they're just coming over the clay pellets. I just want it so that the Rockwell cube will stay wet. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. So that they're just, it's about right at the top of the pellet. And then what I'm going to do is put my Rockwell cube in here. And then I'm going to pack the clay pellets around it just to give it some support. It's hard to do with one hand holding my phone with the other. I just found it easier to do it on my phone um, instead of taking the whole camera out, getting everything set up. So once I'm done packing this, I will basically put it outside and let the sun germinate it. I'll try to find a spot that doesn't get full sun all day long, but uh, we'll see what happens. I should probably be able to find somewhere. So again, these are watermelons. And hopefully, being as though this is the beginning of August, I should have just enough time for them to come up and actually get some watermelons before the frost. I'm going to push that down a little bit farther in. And that one too. Yeah, maybe I'll even cover them a little bit. Since they'll be outside, I don't want them to get too much sun directly on the seed and there we have it that will go outside and then once it's ready i'll put the 27 gallon tote outside fill it with nutrients and it'll just go cracky style all right hope you liked the video hope somebody found it helpful click the thumbs up if you like it please click subscribe and share if you think anybody else is interested all right thanks a lot don't forget to comment below i like the comments thanks